And after I kind of worked with this, I decided to go ahead and take the levels back up even more so that I have more light in the photo and less detail. Again, kind of going with what Andy Warhol did in his work. Once you've got the one that you like, you've gone to your folder and chosen the best one, I want you to merge all the layers. So select the first one, shift, select the last one, right click, merge. Then you're gonna go to image and canvas size and you want to multiply this by two because we're gonna make four panels. So command C to copy this and if you're on a Mac computer you can do command space and type command V and then multiply by two. It's 96. Again, if you're on a Mac, you can press enter and that'll save it and you can do command V. And do the same thing with 72. There you are. And what you wanna do is make sure that you move this dot up here. So click here. This is gonna make it so that when we enlarge the canvas size, our picture will stay in the upper left corner. Click OK, and there you have, there's our picture. It stays in the upper left corner. Command J to copy the layer. We're gonna do it four times because we have four spaces, or three times rather. And we're gonna move each one to their perspective places. Okay, so this one's done in our triadic color scheme. Now I'm gonna come over here to, or actually we're gonna come up here and go to adjustments and color balance. And again, the reason why I'm coming up here is so that it doesn't add a new layer. It's gonna change this layer. Move this around until you find something that contrasts that you like. See how it's changing our color scheme? It's kind of making it a little bit more complementary. Move on to the next one and do the same thing. Oops, yes, the green's good. Makes it a bit more monochromatic. And the last one. There we go. And then we have something a little bit more like the analogous color scheme. And there you have your Andy Warhol inspired portrait. You can save it and add it to your collection.